Yo, 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 Cody Bondell back with another video on the best free fonts for Y2K aesthetic. Here's a little look at previous designs that we've done using free fonts. This is our third episode, so we've got a nice little stash of logos building up. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about the icons that we are creating um, and combining those icons with the free fonts. So here's the deal, guys. When I get to a thousand subscriptions, I'm going to make a new video where we create a ton of icons and in the description will be a link where you can download all those icons and use them in all of your own designs for free. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with everyone you know, and we're gonna be doing a template giveaway. Also, if you wanna support the channel, you can always head over to my Etsy. I do a ton of awesome holographic stickers. You can buy these guys. I, sometimes I have pins, patches, um, t-shirts, and different things like that. Right now, it's just stickers, but go over there, pick some up. I send them out every Friday. I would love to send you some awesome stickers for you to decorate all your stuff with. So let's go ahead and get started. On screen are the fonts that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and move these fonts right over here. We'll get some of these icons that we made in our previous episode. And let's start it with the club font. Looks like it says dub, but it's club, right? So we got the outlines. Um, first thing we're doing, pretty much the signature Y2K look is the outlines on the word. So it's three layers. It's the back layer has a big bold black outline. The second layer has a big bold white outline and the third or the front layer is black. So there we go. You can already see club is really starting to pop off with all of that, uh, you know, the outline going on. We're gonna grab this, kind of throw it back behind it, kind of center it. Oh, we need to, our, yeah, all layers are unlocked before we center, cool. I'm gonna squeeze that, get that looking sort of comfortable. That's looking cool. The bottom edges are looking kind of funky. So, um. Ooh, let's see what we could do. Maybe we can bring this up here and let's clone this and bring it down here. Let's turn it to outlines and ungroup it and start playing with those edges. Let's kind of round out those corners. Um, that U is gonna be difficult. So let's go ahead and get the C, L, and the B and then we're gonna back up the U and we're going to go ahead and manually type out the what we want the curve to be. So we're kind of playing 015, 015. Yeah, that looks comfortable. 0.015 on that one. 0.015 on this one, 0.025, that actually looks really cool. 0.025 on these center corners, and then out, outside once again, yeah, perfect, looking good. Um, and we're gonna group those all together. Let's actually kill the CL, because they're a little bit uneven compared to the B, and we're just going to copy that B, and bring it back over here, and reflect it, get it centered, nice, perfect. Group those guys, perfect. Um, that's looking really nice. Um, let's go ahead and start putting our outlines on. Big black outlines, and we're gonna do a second layer. Oops, what are we doing here? Yeah, second layer with the white, um, and then there we go, perfect, perfect. Uh, that is looking really good. We could actually uh, bring that down here. We can kill that, we don't need that anymore. So going in here, um, let's fill that in with some little ellipse tools, that looks cool. That feels right. Let's make sure these guys are even. Aligned, centered, perfect, and that's looking comfortable. Um, yeah, I'd say that that's one finished logo. Uh, we can maybe make it a little bit thicker. Yeah, that's it right there, perfect. All right, group that all together. We're done with that one. Um, so next one, Falcon Punch. I like this font. Uh, do you remember the game Power Stone for Sega Dreamcast? That, it's a Capcom game, it feels like Street Fighter. There's a character in it called Falcon, and obviously everybody's punching in the game. It's a fighting game. So uh, let's make a fighting game feeling logo, something that feels like action packed. Um, that's that's what we're gonna go for based off of the title. I like the title for this font and I like the font. So that's why we're, uh, we're playing with it. We're gonna grab some of these guys, bring this on down. That's looking comfortable. Um, bring this star down here, kind of turn it sideways after we round out those corners. Perfect, looking good. We're gonna copy paste it down here, bring that punch over. We're gonna copy the star, change the color to white, make it a little bit smaller. Perfect, now, now that's looking good. All right, let's go ahead and add the signature Y2K look um, by copying these guys, grouping them, and turning on our outline. So again, three layers for the outlines. We've got the big black out outline in the back, um, almost as big, uh, second, you know, second uh, white layer would be almost as big as the black, and then the front would have no layer or, or no outline on at all. So that's how we're getting that kind of look. Uh, bring this down here, 
kind of stretch it out just a little bit more, bring the star down. And we no longer are going to need those up there. Right, so let's get that, yeah, that's feeling comfortable. Let's fill in the space by just using our lips tool back there behind it to um, kind of fill in those. That looks nice. Yeah. Change the color to white, and we're just kind of covering up these little corners and edges and stuff. Just make them look a little bit better. That looks cool. Nice, nice, nice. Scale this down so it fits comfortably with this one. That's two fonts down, baby, let's go. All right, Zero Day, do you recognize this one? I do. It's the font for Millennium from the Backstreet Boys in the year 2000. All right, for real though, this font is really crazy. It's cool, but it's, it's one of the fonts, in my opinion, that you're gonna have to play with a long time, turn it to outlines, and I'm not gonna sit here and do it today, but it really round out all of these corners because they're all so uneven. You have to go in like we did on um, that very first logo where we rounded out the corners. And you just have to go in eat on each corner and just kind of manually make it feel right. Um, what we're doing right now is just adding some ellipse tools to kind of, uh, you're using the ellipse tool to, to create little circles to just kind of give it a little bit more of a futuristic feel or kind of. So let's just, you know, copy these guys, make sure they're grouped and uh, go ahead and start turning on the outlines so we can kind of get that same thing that we've been doing on the other ones. But this time, we're gonna do something a little bit different to kind of give it a slightly more 3D look. Instead of centering our front layer, we're actually going to bring it up just a little bit so it feels like there's a little bit of, a little bit more space at the bottom. So it's almost like it's been pushed up. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, we'll kind of get that, yeah. That's feeling pretty comfortable. Yeah, we're just gonna scoot it up closer to the top so it feels like, you know, it's uh, 3D, like a button almost. Um, now we're just kind of trying to see what all we can do here. This has been one of the more difficult um, fonts to kind of get right. This one, it's really cool, but it's 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 a strange one, especially compared to some of these other ones that we've done. Uh, that's completely unreadable. What a mess. <laughs> that happens sometimes, y'all. Um, we're going to use the work tool, see if we can... No, sometimes this works out, but with this font in particular, I'm just not feeling it. I think what we'll end up doing is... Now here's a cool idea, and it's probably going to take too long to actually work out the way I'm thinking, but we're going to just take a look and see what it might look like if we were to use our... Just our line tool to kind of create these, the illusion of like raised, like it's even more raised up, or I guess add to the illusion that it's been raised up. Um, just by kind of copying that and just bringing these over here. If we really took our time, this could look really cool, but I don't think we're actually going to do it. We're just going to play around with the idea. That's what you do a lot of times in the graphic design. You, you flirt with the idea, but you don't follow through. So that's where we're at. Um, that's looking okay. We're gonna use the shear tool for negative 20 to kind of give it a little bit of an angle. That's doable. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it works. Um, let's put it up here. Maybe we could find a little something. Yeah, maybe that guy will put it right back here at the, at the front. Nice, cool. That actually worked out all right. You can, yeah, that worked out. So, this one is actually gonna be cake. Overmuch is so cute and kawaii. It's not gonna take us very long to make something really dope out of this one. So we're, once again, we're playing with those outlines. We've got the back layer with the thickest black outline. The second layer has, in front of it, would have a slightly less thick white outline. And then our front layer is gonna be black with no outline. And that is how we're getting that signature Y2K look. Boom, there it is, perfect. Let's grab some one of these stars up here. We're gonna paste it over here in the corner. Make it a little bit smaller. Ooh, that's looking comfortable. Let's copy it and paste it and make a slightly smaller. Bring it over here. Nice. We'll group these and we'll copy those, paste them, turn them around, put it in this corner. That's really comfortable. That's a little better. There we go. Nice. Now that's looking nice. We're going to bring this ring down here. Yeah, let's make sure we copy it and don't use the original one. That's looking really nice. That was so easy compared to uh, Zero Day. Overmuch, so cute and kawaii, it's like you instantly know what to do with it. Beautiful, oh, chef's kiss. Let's uh, scale these down just a little bit. Now we have four logos in minutes, y'all, using free fonts and icons that we made in a previous episode. It's that easy. 
Um, so for this last one, Accelerator, ooh, that, 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 that font's just, I mean, it's, 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 got, it's aerodynamic, right? So let's play with this ring, putting this kind of ring shape behind it. Um, instead of doing three layers this time, we're gonna use two layers. So we don't have the thick black outline, we only have that white outline. So it kind of creates that little bit of negative space behind. So it kind of looks like, you know, the ring behind it's behind it and it's not interacting with the actual letters itself. Right now we're playing with the kerning. Kind of make it a little bit tighter. This font showed up with the sheer full blast. It, it, it's, it's, like I said, very aerodynamic. Accelerator, boom. Um, so this one is gonna get a little bit over the top because I want this to feel like something from Wipeout. To feel like totally futuristic. Um, right here, we're going to put the one on two layers right there, boom. Centered, make it a little bit smaller, boom. It's like the Pepsi logo, I love it, beautiful. Um, put that right down here and just kind of play a bit, get it comfortable, kind of push it behind accelerator. Um, here we go. Boom, very nice, very nice. And now we'll kind of play around with that. Let's go ahead and clone Accelerator. Actually, yeah, that's kind of comfortable. And we'll turn on the stroke on white and we'll center these guys. That way, the R and the like little ring there don't you know, interact. Nice, that's looking really comfortable. And just to kind of add to this futuristic element, we're gonna bring this down here. We're gonna stretch it out and give it that extra sheer. It's so futuristic, boom. This is like the, yeah, some graphics on the side of your wipeout vehicle. You know what I'm saying? The accelerator one. This guy just goes around kicking major ass all the time. I love it. It's like a straight up, yeah, future racer kind of look. So yeah, that is looking nice. To even uh, make it even a little bit wilder, Let's, uh, yeah, that's it right there. Boom, that is it. Um, let's add one of these. Take these little things, it kind of looks like buttons, extra techie. We're just gonna bring those down. Ooh, that is comfortable, y'all. That's That feels like straight out of Wipeout. Um, very Designer's Republic feeling. Cool, so there we have five brand new logos made out of free fonts and some icons that we've made for free. Um, you guys, I greatly appreciate all the interaction. It means a lot that you guys are checking out what I'm doing. Um, like I said, we're gonna be doing a little giveaway. I'm gonna give you a ton of free icons that you can use. Share this video, like, interact. Let me know if there's anything that you wanna see. We're gonna be looking at mascots next. Um, my next video is actually, I did some, uh, I did the logo uh, or the, the titles for the most recent Nicki Minaj little baby video um, called, Do We Have a Problem? So I'm actually gonna be just giving a quick little rundown on like the workflow, how that came from, you know, beginning to end, point A to point B. Um, so make sure to tune in and watch that. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.